hi guys so I want to make this as a little update and I don't want it to make this video too long I just want it to be quick short and sweet um, and basically my last video if you haven't watched it I'll link it in the description bar below um, yeah I was hypomanic I had a weird night and a weird morning um, and then basically I felt really physically unwell. Um, this is why the title of the video is why um, is how mental illnesses can become physical illnesses. Um, I just heard someone banging, which is annoying. Um, anyway, yeah, um, I was hypermanic. Um, I did a video which you will have seen, and if you haven't again I'll link it um, and literally five minutes after that happened I went downstairs um, to plug my uh, camera into my laptop and to begin editing that video unfortunately that didn't go to plan I suddenly became really unwell um, I was really dizzy um, and I've had dizziness in the past which was um, diagnosed as labyrinthitis which is to do with your inner ear and it can throw you off balance make you feel really dizzy and sick um, I just thought it was that so I took a little break I sat down on the sofa for a while and tried to let it just pass but it didn't it made me feel worse I was really really hot having hot sweats had the fan on me feeling really nauseous and dizzy um, and it was really disappointing because um, my birthday was the day after that on the Sunday and um, we had planned to go to the New Forest and we couldn't actually do it on my birthday. We did it on the Monday which was the bank holiday so that was nice but I felt a bit let down by my own self that I couldn't do it on my actual birthday. Instead I had to have like a really chilled day where it was just my family at my mum and dad's house and I wasn't really able to do much because I felt so ill and just drained. Um, but yeah, quite often you'll have um, a mental illness um, that manifests into physical illness. Um, and I think that's because mainly having a, a mental illness is very stressful. Um, and so, you, you know, when you're stressed, your immune system's lowered and things like that. So it's easier for you to pick up things like colds, flu, um, and in my case, shingles. I've had shingles like three or four times now in my life, which is really like, young people don't normally get it. It's normally like an older people thing. So my immune gets lowered and I catch that and I have to be on antivirals to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, um, it is very frustrating and it's really upsetting when you especially like in my case i was hypermanic i thought i was on the up and suddenly boom i came straight back down so i was like i was down i come up and then i come straight back down again because i was ill so it's just one of those things it's one of those things that i am living i am experiencing and only i can know what to do in that situation and that is to rest like literally don't push myself I just have to rest and I have to just let myself get better in my own time and it does mean cancelling appointments cancelling arrangements with friends or family um, and it is really it is a letdown but there's nothing I can do about it and it's I just have to be compassionate to myself when I feel like that and the last thing I can do is get angry and beat myself up which is sometimes the case but I have to remind myself to be compassionate um, as if I would be compassionate to somebody else if they were going for the same thing I have to be like that to myself um, but yeah this is just an update that I wanted to let you know that it's taken me about three to four days to like get my energy levels up. I've been having lots of smoothies. I've been trying to eat healthy and today I got on the exercise bike for 10 minutes. Just trying to get my body moving and getting my health back up to where it should be. Um, it is a constant fight. It's a constant battle. But, you know, they never said that life would be easy and um, this is how I am and... There's nothing that I can do, um, 
you know, to change that. I just have to learn to live and adapt my life with having, with having bipolar disorder. So, um, yeah, I'm so glad that you are on this journey with me, um, whether you have bipolar or not. Um, it's still a really interesting thing. Um, I am fascinated by it, even though I've got it. I'm still fascinated by every little part and aspect of it. Um, it makes life a bit more interesting. Um, and yes, I am a vulnerable person and um, no day is the same. Um, but, you know, I think it's something that um, I have to be grateful for because it makes me that little bit different from perhaps ordinary people um, and sometimes I have to view it as a gift um, and not as like a disease um, but yeah to all you fellow bipolar people out there I send you so much love I hope that you are doing okay if you're not comment um, and I am always open to chat to you um, so yeah I just this is gonna be a long video now but I wanted to make it an update and um, I will see you very soon and um, thank you for your support it means the world and um, yeah I feel that together we can really make a difference and it's so nice meeting other people on YouTube with the same diagnosis um, and yeah I am rambling now um, I will see you very soon thanks guys bye